Hello guys and welcome for this new tutorial on Hollywood Illusion. Today we are going to talk about compositing and how to make a 3D scene look real. For that we are going to work on this shot based on Spider-Man 3. So Spider-Man 3 introduced the black suit, which was very cool, so I've decided to recreate this scene using 3D Studio Max and After Effects. If you want to save time, you can download the full 3D animated scene ready to use, as well as the After Effects project directly from HollywoodIllusion.com. You can also access to other movie scenes like Iron Man, Star Wars. Just explore and have fun! Okay, so let's jump right into it. The problem when you render a 3D scene is that often it doesn't look real. This is why compositing is important, so you can go from this 3D render to this final shot. To do that, the first step is to render 3D passes from your favorite 3D software. The most popular one are the Reflection Pass, the Specular Pass, the Ambient Occlusion Pass, as well as the Z Depth Pass. I recommend rendering your sequence in EXAV format so all of your passes will be contained within a single file for each frame. Once you have rendered your sequence, we can now go back to After Effects. So after importing your sequence, um, we need to access to all of the passes. So to do that, simply select your sequence and go to File, Create Pro AXR Layer Combs. So now you got all of your passes right here. So After Effects will create one composition for each of your passes. I have already done this step before, so I'm just gonna delete this folder. Now the secret is to stack all of your passes above the beauty pass as you can see in this composition. So let me show you in a new fresh composition. I will start by creating a new composition with um, the beauty pass as our base layer. All right, so now I'm gonna add the reflection map just above our beauty pass and select the add mode. The picture is now slightly brighter, but let's continue with the specular pass. The specular pass which isolates the specular highlights from your objects. And then select again the add mode. So it's better, we got a better looking picture, but we can still improve it. And there is something very very important and that's the ambient occlusion pass. The ambient occlusion pass represents small shadows between all the elements of your object and it can really improve the realism of your shot. So to composite this pass, you just have to select the multiply mode. And finally, let's add the depth of field pass, which will skyrocket the realism of your image. To do that, I will create an adjustment layer and select effect, blur, camera lens blur, and select the DOF layer and then just adjust the blur amount we want. We don't want too much blur, just a little bit. I think that's enough. So now we've got a much better looking shot. Let's add a background. For this, I downloaded a picture from Pexels and I applied a camera lens blur on it. But the important thing here is that we want to make our subject blend with the background. Let me show you, if we just have the subject with the background, it seems wrong and fake on the edges of our subject, and we don't want that. This is where the light wrap comes in. Light wrap is a black and white map in which the edges of your subject have a subtle gradient, and this allows you to make your background blend with your subject. So to make this map, you need the alpha pass. Simply duplicate it, select difference, and this mode will display the difference between your layers. Then apply a fast blur and adjust the blur amount. Finally, duplicate it again and select stencil luma mode. All right, so now we've got our light wrap map. Let's go back to our composition. To use our light wrap, we just need to duplicate the background, import our light wrap map, and select here Luma Matte Mode. This means that our background will only appear on the brightest area of our image, here on the edges of our subject. Then we can adjust the opacity to make it more subtle. 
And here we go, we've got a much better shot than our 3D render. We can still improve the look of our sequence by adding chromatic aberration, grain, glow, but that will be the purpose of another tutorial. If you want to save time, you can download the 3D animated scene directly from hollywoodillusion.com as well as the After Effects project. Hope you like this tutorial guys and I see you soon for another exciting project. <laughs>